If you use git, you must be familiar with the checkout command. Since we use it all the time to switch branches, this will switch to branch main, git checkout dash will switch to the previously used branch, and git checkout dash b will create a new branch. But have you been in this situation when you work on a big project and your changes to one part of the project will affect other parts of that project? So you might end up changing lots of different parts. Here is a bit contrived example, but we can clearly see that I have changed packages inside my mono repo, but I also changed the front end and I also changed API v2. And when there are even more files in the real use case, my colleagues sometimes rightfully say that, dude, it's so hard to review when you have changed so many files. And I totally agree. But until recently, I didn't know how it's easy to split that huge PR into multiple small PRs by using git checkout command. So let's say instead of creating this one PR, I want to create three different PRs. One will update the packages ESLint config, and then two more to update the front end and API v2. First, I will switch to my base branch. Then I will create a new branch with gitchcout-b update as lint. And then inside this new branch, I will write gitchcout name of the branch where I did all those changes and path to the files I want to include in this new branch. And now in my new branch, I have only changes for the packages. I will run pnpm install to update the package log file. And now there are only changes to the packages and the log file. I will push it to the remote. And now these changes will be so much easier to review. I would ask my colleagues to review this PR and then merge it to the main branch. Since it's only me, I will just merge it. Now I can switch to the main branch, pull the changes. and repeat the same git checkout trick for the API changes. So now this another small branch with just changes to the API based on already merged main branch. The only downside to this approach I see is that those commits history of this branch will not be reflected when you do it this way because only the latest version of that branch will be checked out. But I think it's very small price to pay because otherwise I think if I would need to split this huge PR into multiple small PRs, I would need to do something super complex, like maybe interactive rebase, which would be a nightmare. I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching and until the next time.